A group of teens are talking about a trip to a famous amusement park. The attraction is called Dead Man Wonderland. The students are happy to go as long as it's something new. When the bell rings, a man in red shows up outside of the classroom window, making the class look like a horror scene, leaving only Gonto alive. The man in red also implanted a red orb in his chest. When he wakes up in the hospital bed, Gonto was visited by the police as the prime suspect of the murder. Soon he was charged with the murder of the whole class. A suspicious man claims to be his lawyer, vowing to defend him. She only set him up later on with a fake recording, planning it as false evidence. Ganta is put on death row and admitted to the correctional facility or prison, being none other than Dead Man Wonderland, the first publicly funded theme park that have dead row inmates as workers in the show. Kawaki is the head enforcer at the prison. She explains that all inmates wear neck bands that monitor them 24-7. As she explains what else they do, an inmate named Yo runs to the Ganta, knocking him down to the floor and secretly taking his candy. Kawaki sees this and tells him to give it back and there won't be any problems. Yo plays dumb, acting nice. They then have his chest split open by her sword. Then she steps on him, telling the inmates this is going to be their new life. These neck bands are also pumping in poison to their body 24 seven. If they don't eat a specially designed candy in three days, they die. As Ganta is crying, remembering how his life used to be and how he wants to die, just then a white haired girl named Shiro makes her entrance. The girl reminds him of his former classmate, Mimi, who was killed by the red man. The girl said she wouldn't mind killing him, picking up a steel rod, and then wondering why he would dodge the attack. The two of them are interrupted by some other inmates, who are working construction. The one of them starts insinuating things about the murder with Ganta, to the point Shiro punches him to stop. The inmates start to beat him up. The other inmates start to join in and beat up Ganta. A bomb goes off, destroying one of the buildings, where Ganta and Shiro are directly under. Ganta wills himself to live and to get revenge, pushing the rubble back with the orb in his chest. This coming in a blood form like weapon, which shields him and Shiro. Makuna is looking at security footage, but can't identify what the strange glow is, but knows something is not normal here. In the infirmary, Ganta is getting patched up and notices Yo behind him. He apologizes for stealing his candy, but tells him that's just how things are here. Shiro comes in from the ceiling, telling them to enter the dog race as a team. The dog race is a way to earn a lot of cast points this being the currency of the prison. The dog race is a live Coliseum based attraction with whoever winning the game getting 100,000 cast points or CP. Ganta needs to earn enough cast points to buy a piece of candy before he dies. The game has traps, inmates with a no backing out policy. Yo and Ganta decide to compete together. In the locker room, Kazumasa, a former MMA fighter, is competing with his subordinates. Their group begins to intimidate and assault the rest of the inmates. As Ganta sees these guys continually beat on each other, a cloud of darkness surrounds him and he knows they won't stop and no one is going to help them. He whispers, they're all animals, under his breath. Causing Kazumasa to direct his attention to Ganta, he has his goons hold his arms and intimidates the boy, making the kid smile, then he knees him. Shiro comes in to see what's going on and what's the hold up to find him on the ground. Kazumasa goes in the puncher, with Shiro looking like the girl who put him into this prison. Makana stops his punch and draws her sword. Game starts, and the contestants have to run without stopping, or they'll be shot down by the costume staff. They have to go through razor blades that swing back and forth, that can cut people right in half. The audience watches on, with some finding it a little bit gory and too real, but others loving it, thinking it's fake. Some of them argue, even if it was real, they're criminals, so they deserve it. They next have to do a bungee jump, where some ropes just don't work. Dodge the owls shooting arrows, where if they fall down, they're electrocuted to death. Kazumasa uses his friends or subordinates as shields. The last trial is to avoid the tile pieces that make you fall into spikes while getting a ball. Kazumasa confronts Ganta on why he's trying to live so badly, telling him he's a psycho killer, telling him he can die now or later. So Ganta throws the ball at him, telling him he's not a murderer, telling the park and the rules that they can suck his dick. Ganta and Kazumasa run around the tiles but eventually Kazumasa dies in the process. Shiro is trying her hardest to get the ball for Ganta and is about to fall to her death, but she does manage to throw the ball back to Ganta, over saving herself though. The ball pops as Ganta saves Shiro over getting the ball. 
with her wondering why. In a dark lit room, a group of powerful people are talking at a table, discussing how many inmates died in the recent games. The general and other government officials thought it was more of a public execution rather than a game, but it seems Dead Man Wonderland is hiding a government secret, so they allow the war to continue. In Ganta's cell, he's writing a letter to Mimi's father, exclaiming he's innocent, seeing that today is the last day he'll be alive, with him soon being executed. But he can't finish it because there's a part of him that still wants to live, so he crumbles up the paper. Yo comes in to give Ganta a piece of candy, doing this because the promoter gave him cast points to keep Ganta alive. When Yo and Ganta are enjoying some ice cream, the red man appears. Through his sheer hatred for the red man, Ganta forms a blood attack. After the attack, Ganta passes out. In the hospital, other inmates are talking about the guy in red and the last guy to use the blood attack like the red man, saying he's in G-Block. The warden puts a shutdown order on the prison, proclaiming Ganta as a living weapon. Shiro, Yo, and Ganta go through the vents and fight security robots to go to G-Block. Knowing this, Makana realizes there's another part to the park where she has no jurisdiction over. Kayamasa saves them. Ganta assumes this is the red man that murdered his class, and the two begin the clash, with Kayamasa holding back extremely, fairly beating up on Ganta. The fight stops when Shiro overpowers Kayamasa with her breast. The room is shot with tranquilizers. Ganta wakes up with a machine probing his blood. The promoter comes in to reveal that he was the one who put Ganta there. The promoter informs Ganta that he's going to be fighting in the next carnival corpse under the name Woodpecker. This is a game where inmates fight to the death, and if they don't die, they still have to complete into a penalty game where they take a random body part. Head Warden goes in to confront the owner of the park, who is bedridden. His guards of two homunculus stop her. Shiro and Yo want to go save Ganta, but he's locked up. Yo has a terrible memory of his family life, with a man dead on the floor and a young girl with ripped clothes. Yo is talking to an inmate who has information about G-Block and a girl who's there. Ganta has to go fight Crow, who's Kayamasa. Ganta tries running up a tree and attacking from long range, but he soon runs out of blood. Crow's long blood blade cuts down Ganta and the surrounding wood. Crow calls him names such as relating to female genitalia. Ganta wonders how did he end up here? Ganta gets back up, shooting a blood bullet at a bird carrier in the sky. While Crow's distracted, Ganta shoots a bullet right at the chest, winning the fight and eating a piece of candy. The TV then grabs his attention as he sees the penalty game for the first time, with Crow losing an eye, live. Shiro is able to cause a distraction in the control room, with Yo tying up a guard, killing him. He then impersonates the guard and tells him that there's some crazy person in the control room, telling them to send backup for Shiro, with him leaving her. Then Shiro makes a tornado of wind around her, destroying the building with a blue flame on her face. Yo goes back to see what happened, only to find blood everywhere with body parts around Shiro, with her giving a sinister grin before collapsing. The next day, Ganta meets a young girl, Minasuki, who is the sister of Yo, and his next opponent. She tells her victims her sad story about her home life, and a ruse to hurt them later on in the upcoming match because they feel guilty for hurting her, with her codename being Hummingbird. She is the reason Yo entered the Dead Man Wonderland prison, and is the reason he's been getting so many cast points over the years. In the battle, he tries to shield her, with the family having an emotional, dark, and very twisted moment, explaining what happened to them at their home life, and how they ended up here. Hummingbird chokes her brother, and Ganta finishes her off with a headbutt. Yo and Minasuki make up and act more friendlier with each other. Ganta meets the Dead Man Resistance, which is a group who wants to free all the dead men. Nagi is their leader, with Karaki being the one who brought Ganta there. This is where we meet the Undertaker. Like Gingaku, they specialize in neutralizing the dead men under Tamaki's command. The dead man resistance are able to control and manipulate the penalty game's outcomes as well as security. To show an example of their power, they alter Mizuki's game so she can just get a haircut rather than lose an eye or a major body part. The crew plans on escaping. The plan is to do this the same time as the government doing their yearly inspection. This being because Block G has weak security around the same time and date. Nagi and Rokuro will go to the control room and activate a lift that leads the rest of the crew outside the park. They give Ganta an important chip that contains all the horrific acts the prison is responsible for. The goal is to make the outside world aware of what's going on. Hopefully people see the innocent people here and see how these traumatic experiences shouldn't happen to human beings. The goal is to close Dead Man Wonderland forever. Nagi and Rakuro fight a child undertaker named Habani and the group gets pursued by a killer robot that can spit acid. Rokuro reveals himself as a double agent, 
and he's actually working for Tamaki, guards come to kill the resistance. The guards come with anti-dead man weapons to come kill the resistance. Shiro takes the data chip from Ganta and throws it into the incinerator. The chip itself was actually a bomb, with Ganta not knowing this. Really, no one knew this was a bomb, but when it happened, Ganta gets very angry, punches Shiro. Nagi is being held up, drugged, and tortured. Tamaki is the son of the prison director. The director himself is wanting to die by the hands of Shiro, but not the foolish, lovable, childish goofball of a version of Shiro, but her more deadly split personality. Who could be the quote-unquote red man that massacred Ganta's class? Rokuro comes back to the group, revealing that he was a spy and that the ship was actually a bomb. Luckily, Kayamasa comes in to save the group, using a move that counters their anti-blood weapons. The group begs Crow to join them, with them all praising him. Crow laughs at the group, telling them they're just a pack looking for an alpha male. Staying the outside world is just like the one here, but with only this one being much more straightforward, leaving them all. Ganta goes to follow Crow, asking him to train him. The resistance is led by Karaki, who wants them to go fight the Undertaker, and like last time, they're defeated. Kinkaku captures Karaki and Shiro, threatening Ganta that if he doesn't save them, he and his group will sexually assault them, promising to broadcast it over the prison. Ganta arrives to stop them. Nagi is also there, wrecking havoc, but is under the reign of Tamaki. But after some emotional words, he's back to normal. Shiro's alternate personality is about to finish off Genkaku, but Ganta steps in, wanting to do the honors this time. Ganta forms a dark blood orb, stronger than any bullet Genkaku could muster, with Nagi holding him back just to make sure, and the two of them die together. Karaki and a few others are able to escape the prison, with Shiro and Ganta looking down on the prison, knowing their adventure just got started. So that's where we're going to leave off on this video. As always, if you like what you saw, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be uploading more videos just like this one. So I'll see you next time.